got a call out to a shack where a family with four children has been sharing a small room with a huge black mamba. Mambas in confined spaces are a death trap, and it gets a whole lot worse when you can't see what you're doing. There we go. Let's go. We arrive. The lady quickly takes us round the back to some outbuildings, and she says, in there. You see it, yeah? Where is it? Where is it? OK. I'll just jump in there. Wait a minute. It's Ooh. dark. OK, it's very dark. Is there any lights? Have you got any lights? Yeah, rather don't go in there unless we... Say, so, you come out. In another room. All right, yeah, you they might out. have moved. Unless someone's watching. Are you in there? I'll say there's someone else in there. Have you got any lights? It's pitch dark in here. How did they even see the mamba? OK, right. Oh, it's going to be quite tight in there. OK, there best thing to do, if you come out... Oh, you had your light on it. Well done, you. I get a glimpse of it. Black mamba looking straight at me. You all right? <laughs> you OK? Bless you. This lady's actually quite brave. She sat there waiting for us until we got there, shining her cell phone torch on the black mamba. I don't think she actually knows what that snake is. Now, this is great for us, so we can see where the snake is, but she has put herself in some serious danger. This black mamba is trapped and nervous. It will strike repeatedly, given the chance. Its fast-acting venom can kill a grown man in 20 minutes. A bite like that to a child is almost certain death. I know, I'm It's going already. Cramp. I don't know where it's going. I can't see. Where is it? I don't know. I've just walked in the room. Where is it? In that corner it was, but I just heard it move. Oh, sugar. Where's it going? It's going down the back there. Wait. I think it's going to go. Um, Can you see it? Have two seconds. Yes, right there. The problem is I don't know where its head is. Is it? The trouble is, if I start moving stuff, it's going to go. So there's not room for both of us. Do you want me to deal with it and you just hold torch? I'll keep that spare. It's not a very good position at all. Oh, the head's coming up, actually. Oh, his head's up there, yeah, OK. Slowly. It's real pity is there because I can't actually... I can't actually get the tongs in on it at all. Um, I'll try and go between this gap. That's not really going to help too much. If I start moving things around, the snake's going to go. I have to do so slowly. If this mamba goes on the move, we're all in the way, so we're all in trouble. Hey, don't start banging the doors here, guys. This snake is in a really crap position. I can't get any tongs in there or nothing. All right, you stay there. Pass trying, to, me. trying to move these golf clubs out of the way. Sometimes I get them into some right tight positions and you can't get in there. You stay there, too. Thanks. This snake can easily lunge at me, biting me twice before I can even move my hand. I'll feel the effects of the neurotoxic venom almost immediately. Without treatment, my lungs will collapse and my heart will stop. And if I die, who's going to catch this massive mamba? And it probably knows an escape route better than we do. I'm worried if I mess up and don't get it the first time, it's going to disappear into this hut or outside of this hut, and then we've lost it. And there's a good chance this snake might come back because they're habitual, they come back to the same place. This mamba may have been living with his family for weeks. It's a miracle nobody's been bitten. To the left of that beam is yeah, I can't, snake I can't, as well, I both can't sides. Move. I can't both, move that. I know you can't, but I'm telling you, he's both yeah, sides. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to just try and get the tongs on it and then all hell's going to break loose. OK, here it goes. Just slug you, right, OK, now here we go. I don't know where I've got it or anything. As I get tongs on it, more and more snake bulges out of the dark. And I'm thinking, this thing is long. It can easily nail me. Is it not? Where's his head? Keep that torch on me, Sue. I don't fancy getting bitten. Where are you going? Is that his tail or is that...? Oh, no. Yeah, that is dead. quite low down, I think. Bloody paper out the way. OK, I've got it this side now. Well, a bit better now. Got it in the tongs, but now I've got to get my hands on it, and I can't see a thing. It's the worst place to work in. Try and get it to come this way. If you back up, back up. That's it. Do you want the light or not now? Yeah, yeah. just keep it there. Back up. I can't do that. Tongue something stuck and going. Yep, that's it. Get a tongue on it, Sue. Anywhere you can. Got it? I'm upside down there. The snake's upside down. Right, just hold it there. Yeah, I'm the snake come, is upside just down. Just hold it. Just hold it. I've got to go round here. Don't want it bite me. <laughs> OK, okay right, now let's go. I'll go flat. Let go, cos you're twisting it. I know, I said it was the wrong way. Then go again. Right, I'm going to have to go below you now. 
Well, you can, I'll, I'll, I'll catch it no, otherwise. No, I can't. I'm upside down. I'm not here. You're not now. No, right, wait, our tongues are twisted. Off. We're way too close to the snake for my liking. All right, now's my chance. All right, snake, don't worry. OK. I've got it, OK. Yeah. Right, you let go, then we're going to have to try and get this thing out. Right, now we've got to unravel it. Right, let, stay there and let me go past. I've got it. I think, should we just bag it here? No, I think we need to go outside. It's a bit dark, isn't it? Let's do it out there, then. Okay. I've got it, yeah, yeah. OK. I've got it. OK, I've got your snake. Come, it's OK, I've got it. It's OK. That's we can't it. get you now, so come round. Come. Ooh, that's yeah, come it. here. Come close. Not, don't touch the snake, but don't come close. Don't do anything. Do you know what this is? Black mamba. <laughs> this is. A, this will be about a year old. This particular one. <laughs> they grow very fast. So it's because of all the stuff around here. You're getting snakes. You've got chickens here, and you've got animals, dogs, and mice and rats will be here. That's what it's come after. Anyway, we'll take it away for you. But you did the right thing, not to interfere with it, because it's a very it's, dangerous snake. It was you when we turned up watching it. You did a brilliant job with your torch watching it. That's a really brave thing to do, so well done. <laughs> Made our job easy, but you had to be careful yeah, there. never try and mess with it. At least you can sleep tonight, all right. I'm just going to get it like this a little bit. OK, that's a bit better. It's twisting around like a mad thing here, trying to get away, so... OK, I'm just going to be careful here. Don't slip, yeah. don't slip, OK. okay. It's all right, snake, you'll be in the bag in a minute. <laughs> OK. Mm -hmm. His tail slipped out of my hand. I've only got his head. OK. Right, don't go near the bag. So it's a very dangerous snake, that no, one. She's really worried. I'm just so pleased we got it. That was seriously an accident waiting to happen. 